Harris. Uh, Mr. Speaker, um, ACT will be uh, supporting this bill, but having said that, I, um, I uh, agree 100 per cent with Kelvin Davis when he said that this bill does little and, and certainly doesn't uh, deal with the significant problems uh, that we have in the education system. And given that it is the third government bill, one would have hoped uh, that it would have um, done a lot more. In the scheme of things, if you gave it a mark out of 100, I suppose two or three in terms of importance if, if you stretched it. Uh, the fact is that there is nothing, there is nothing, there is absolutely nothing in this bill. There is absolutely nothing in this bill, Mr Speaker, um, that will do anything to improve uh, the quality of education. There's nothing in this bill that will do anything to help the 30 per cent of the kids who leave schools at the, at the present time with a poor education, unable to read or write adequately. But when the tragedy is that when you look at these schools in poor areas, if you look at schools, this percentage is much higher and it's the poor that are getting the rawest deal. There's absolutely nothing in this program that's going to solve the problem that we have in South Auckland, where 10 of the schools are currently manned by police, a scheme which I understand has been recently um, moved uh, also into the Bay um, of Plenty area. There's nothing in this bill that's going to help the children who went who this year uh, went to secondary school for the first time in a South Auckland school, a decile five and six school, who had a test. And one of the questions was, you've got 36 apples, subtract 27 apples from it, and one in four got it wrong. There is, Mr Speaker, something terribly wrong with our education system. And I think it's about time that this House address the real issues uh, that we are faced and not um, these issues which are largely uh, technical in matter. The fact is that unless you have the money to shift to another zo uh, zone and buy a house in it or can pay twice, you have no tragedy, no choice in this country. And I think uh, we need to do something about that. Um, this uh, bill does extend choice slightly. Uh, it does allow um, I, it does allow for the children of um, of parents who went to particular schools to be enrolled at those schools. But that in itself, I think, is going to create some anomalies as well, which uh, the committee might like to think of. I think of my own situation where I had a son uh, who went to Auckland Grammar and a daughter who went to Epsom Grammar. Uh, now, my son's son will be able to go to Auckland Grammar, but I take it uh, that my daughter's son uh, won't qualify. On the other hand, uh, my daughter's daughter will be able to go to Epsom, but my son's daughter won't. Uh, but overall, Mr Chairman, I think that it is time that we got to grips uh, with the education system in New Zealand. The education system absorbs the total amount of money we raise from GST, and I don't think we are getting a particularly good return. The problems uh, that we have uh, in many ways have been 70 years in the making. And I can't see, for the life of me, why we persist with a system that has failed for 70 years. Why don't we think again? Thank you.